hey guys welcome and welcome back to my channel my name is chanel b if you are new here welcome if you're a returning subscriber welcome back bae so good to have you i am going to get into some things today in this video it's gonna be a real quick one i know i say it all the time y'all don't don't okay i say it all the time but listen this is a follow-up to my last uh chill sundays video okay so the last chill sunday video if i can remember correctly it was some of the reasons why waking up early in the morning i talked about my 4 a.m routine just slightly why waking up early in the morning may be the play for the rest of the year okay so in today's video we're going to expound upon that just a little bit more so today is five early morning habits that's holding you back yes girl be released from the shackles of getting on that phone early in the morning answering text messages from the night before early in the morning child before you can even give time to yourself listen i know all about that and today we're going to discuss the five reasons that you may be being held back from having this awesome morning routine that you're not even thinking you're not even thinking about so let's go ahead and get into the video all right guys so y'all already know what the first one is about to be i kind of already said it and that is you're che you're checking social media and you're taking in news too early in the morning okay so let's just think about this right so you had a good night's sleep hopefully you did you had a good night's sleep you wake up in the morning to your alarm clock right most of the time our alarms are on our phone like i would say like 98 percent of the people that i know alarms are on their phone and immediately you get into checking your social media platforms right whether that's TikTok, instagram youtube all of the above right and you also stumble upon news that's on your instagram feed right so you're taking in all of this heaviness really really early in the morning it can become a distraction and not only that it can put you in a funky kind of mood depending on what type of news it is it can put you in a funky type of mood for the rest of the day so you don't want to start your day off by checking your phone i know so many people sit say that but you don't want to start off that way because like i said it can distract you from having a really good and productive day because you put in your mind all of these images and this, these people talking and all of this bad news in your mind so at this point you are starting your day off not on a good foot and that's never good especially when you are just starting to get into having a morning routine maybe when you're more seasoned early morning right um that may work for you but when you're just getting started you want to try and minimize your distractions so that you can have a successful early morning okay the second bad habit that you may need to stop doing because it's holding you back that is not planning out your day right so i do two types of planning so i do a planning at night and then i do a planning in the morning right so at night i kind of have an overview of what the next day will look like you know i make sure i put out um i make sure that I put out my clothes, my gym clothes, so that I won't be, you know, doing a whole bunch of searching for outfits in the morning, put out my shoes, put some socks, you know, and things like that. I put those things out, right? Sorry, guys, I'm looking at my notes. Y'all already know. Oh, I have an overview of what the next day will look like because I've written so many things down the night before or I journal and I just got everything out of my mind on what needs to be done for the next day so that I can have a really, really good sleep and not have any of that stuff on my mind, right? So I, I do a dump at night. So I do a dump in my journal or in my phone. And then the next morning I wake up after like meditating, praying, um, journaling and things like that. And a lot of times through journaling, I'm reminded of the things that I have to do for the day, right? So maybe the things that I wrote down, all of that dump that I wrote down the day, the night before, it doesn't necessarily, um, I don't necessarily have to get all those things done. But the next morning, I kind of like tighten up that list and I do what a lot of people do, which they call it the top three. So you just write down the top three things that you really want to accomplish that day. Uh, three things don't sound like a lot, but when you're waking up every day and you're not getting anything done, doing three things a day for five or six days a week, 
you're gonna get a lot done in a week's time trust me I know it sounds like a small number three but just think about how many things you get done on a regular basis child okay I'll wait exactly so write down your top three for the day in the morning okay you can do it the night before you can revise it in the morning or you can do it the night before and really stick to it in the morning it doesn't matter but you need to make sure you have a plan for your day so that you are productive and that you're staying on track and your day just doesn't go to waste right listen y'all already know how I feel about my yogurt tea so today I'm drinking um good energy it's like vanilla spice good energy y'all this tea is mm, chef's kiss is too good well let's get into the next bad habit that you need to break to try to have more successful mornings and that is not having a clean space okay so let me tell y'all something I don't know if y'all are anything like me um I am a young adult right and I remember there were times where I used to be at my mom's house and when I lived with my parents, of course, as a young girl. And my mom would be like, you know, she need her house clean, honey. She need her dishes washed. She need her floor sweep. She need her floors mopped, all kind of stuff. And y'all, I used to be that lazy. I used to be so lazy. I used to lay everything up. Oh, I'm up still doing homework and all kinds of things, right? Um, so I never used to like to really, really clean like that. But as I got older and I got my own space, I realized that all those things that mommy would, mommy was showing me as a as a young girl, as an adolescent, um, it kind of carried over. And needless to say, I do clean really well because you know I picked up after my mom. When your space is decluttered and you don't have a lot going on, like a lot of chaos going on at home, it literally sets you up. Like that is literally like how you think and that's how your mind is your your mind is not decluttered you are organized just like your home is everything up here is just like clean it's just working properly but when my home is a mess y'all it's like I'm a mess comment down below if you feel like that because I, I I can't be the only one who feels like a cluttered home leads to a cluttered mind and a very clean and tranquil home leads to a very clean and tranquil mind. Make sure that your home is clean um, before you go to bed. Wash your dishes. If you don't wash your dishes, load your dishwasher. Okay, so that you don't have dirty dishes in the sink. And not only that, you want to come, you want to wake up to a clean kitchen because it's like you got to cook your breakfast, you got to make your tea, you got to make your water, you got to make, you know, you got to get ready for the gym and things like that. So you definitely want to make sure that you have a clean space before you go to bed so that when you wake up in the morning, everything is nice and it's laid out and it's exactly how it needs to be so that you can go ahead and get a productive, good day started. Okay. Fourth bad habit that you have that is keeping you from having successful early morning routines is you're not drinking water. Okay, so I don't know if you guys have noticed, but like, you know, everybody who's doing their setting their bedrooms up kind of like that hotel style. One of the things that I absolutely love about this hotel style of setting up your room is um, you always have water and a pitcher by your bedside. That's actually something that I need to invest in. But I always have a bottle of water. So if you don't have a pitcher, that's fine. I always get a Zephyr Hills uh, bottle of water and have it by my bedside. Think about it. You've been sleeping anywhere between five to eight hours. You haven't drank anything or hydrated yourself in all that time. So when you wake up, sometimes you do wake up a bit thirsty. Some people wake up more thirsty than others, right? And that's for other health medical reasons that is uh, another discussion for another day another video right but um think about it you've gone all those hours without being hydrated right and also drinking water early in the morning like that it really revs up your metabolism so you burn more calories throughout the day right so making sure that you have water by your bedside early in the morning and to start drinking you actually give yourself the kickstart to you know, intaking and hydrating your body. And you know, hydrating your body is always good. It's good for weight loss, it's good for your skin. Um, it's good, it has so many great benefits to drinking water. And just getting started with drinking water early in the morning can really be become a great habit that you build over the course of time. The final bad habit that you definitely need to break to go ahead and have successful mornings is you have to start 
setting boundaries okay so one of the bad habits that we have and a bad habit that i have that i'm still trying to break is learning how to set boundaries okay so um there is an option on your phone i don't know if you guys have this or you utilize it or if you even know about it there is an option on your phone on on the iphone where you can actually go into this like do not disturb kind of status after a certain time right and at first i didn't know anything about this um but i realized that my sister had it on her phone and i started doing some research and i was like oh this is something i really should implement so what happens is setting a way to set boundaries is you know if you if you know that you want to have a productive day in the morning and you know you want to have an early morning so you want to wake up at five six o'clock in the morning you know that you have to go to bed at least by what eight nine ten at the latest so you want to cut off you want to start cutting off contact i feel this may be a bit much but i feel like you should start cutting off contact and that means stop scrolling on social media Stop answering text messages. Do not pick up phone calls or anything like that unless it's an emergency. So that's, that's another thing to keep in mind. You should cut all those things off at least two hours before your bedtime because it helps with the wind down process. You'll be surprised how many times I've gone to bed really late because I'm in the bed. Like I'm in the bed, got on my PJs, showered, did my self care routine and everything and I'm in bed and I'm ready to go to sleep. But as soon as I start scrolling on Instagram, I spend like two or three more hours and I'm going to bed at one o'clock and trying to wake up at four o'clock in the morning. Y'all, those are the worst nights to have. But to avoid that, you really need to start setting some hard boundaries, okay? So put the do not disturb uh, status on your phone for whatever time you feel is conducive for you in your early morning schedule. Um, and also let people know, like, I don't know if you're dating, you have a boyfriend or whatever, let them know what your schedule is and what you're trying to do for yourself for this new year and um, how they can assist you. So for example, if you were dating, you and your boyfriend are used to being on the phone late at night, um, you can tell them like, hey, baby, I got a new schedule that I'm trying to really implement in my life to try to get some success. And I'm going to be going to bed at 10, 8, 10 p.m can we have like phone conversations starting at eight can we have our last phone call at 8 30 and um if the people care about you whoever you're you're setting the boundaries with or you're setting things up with um they will understand and they will really respect that people really do respect when you have boundaries because so many of us live without boundaries right we're always saying yes to things that we don't want to say yes to we're always at places that we don't necessarily feel comfortable or want to be so having someone um knowing how to set boundaries and do it respectfully that is always seen as a beautiful thing in in the sight of people who who want to get to that point possibly one day right so um yeah so guys that was the five habits bad habits that you need to break in order to have successful morning routines if you haven't already, make sure you go ahead and follow me on Instagram at I am Chanel underscore B, honey. It gets popping over there on my Instagram, honey. I'm posting all the baddie type pictures. Um, so if you don't follow me there, you need to definitely go ahead and follow me. I'll leave a link down below. Um, I love Instagram because uh, a lot of the people who follow me over here on YouTube, they either follow me via Instagram or vice versa. And um, they always say I tend to show more of my life on demand of course because it's instant and instant but i tend to show more of my life on demand over there so i would really like to connect with y'all um on my instagram platform if you have if you're not following me already so thank you guys so much i hope you have a beautiful week um make sure you do what you need to do to have an early morning tomorrow because tomorrow is monday and we started a new month honey we are in the second quarter of 2022 and time is not not waiting around for nobody so i suggest you get your routine together uh listen to some of these things rewind this video write some things down figure out where you need to make changes and go ahead and hit the ground running. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to Chill Sundays with Chanel B. I love y'all so much and I'll see you guys later on in the week. I 